just as Facebook or Twitter or whatever may allow us to organize um, or to um, take action or to, to, to voice our opinion, unfortunately it's also um, created a situation where it's very clear to see who's voicing that opinion and not only who they are but who they're talking to and, and what they're saying. So that's the kind of two-sided um, area that we're dealing with. It's not just a positive promotion of technology but there's a need for critical reflection and, and thinking about what does that mean. There is an obsession here, in my opinion, with technology, and it's technology for itself as a holy grail, and uh, not thinking about what it can do, but developing it for itself as, as the purpose and the main goal itself. People are in love with technology, and uh, that, it, that often leads to, in two ways, it's problematic. One, often technology is developed that is not useful to that many people, or is only useful to the very, very elite and wealthy. The other side effect is technology is developed that is not easy to and is not useful even to anybody, not even to the very wealthy, because no one's looking sometimes at what is it that the customer really wants. There are concerns and problems around privacy, around people sharing their data in ways that we don't always necessarily uh, know what the dangers are going to be yet. So I would say that's one concern, but the other one would just simply be that we don't want to get too reliant on technology because we, when we talk of these Twitter revolutions and Facebook revolutions, we almost think that they're only possible because of the technology, but actually it's more about people, it's people on the streets that create change.